Hey, it's Uncle Bear and it is day 98 in this whole project. This edition is the spring edition, embracing experiments with embracing spring and leaning into joy, a creative possibilities romp. And I am going to make a little altar. This is kind of like altar making basic, my version, a, an Urson's version, a bear person's version. 101 so we're going to make just a sweet little altar it's a full moon it's the full worm moon today which is great there's going to be a ritual i'm going to go to tonight with these lovely magical folk and i'm going to make just a little altar on the land there's going to be more altar making but this is just my first little my kiss to a baby altar on this land this is my altar helper maker, Blue. Say hi, Blue. Oh, so magical. The magic of this land is that I barely walked and I already found a place that I wanted to make a little altar. Basically, this whole wood is an altar. I just walked up the path hardly at all and this little beautiful mossy rock was like, hey, and I'm like, oh, you're so beautiful. I'm going to work with this area. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sit down and just kind of feel into the area and make sure that it's cool with me making an altar. I know for some of you that sounds like so woo, but all it is is slowing down, taking a moment, honoring the space and listening. You know, I don't often hear like a word. <laughs> I have. There's been times when I've wanted to make an altar or cuddle with a tree or something and I actually hear like no or yeah or whatever it's really just a feeling for me I know there's some folks who hear lots but for me it's a feeling so I'll sit down and I'll just kind of I'll feel for a moment I'll get quiet I'll take a couple of breaths and I'll just feel for a moment It seems like everything's cool here. Blue actually came and started to climb on me with him wet paws. This is just perfect as is. It's gorgeous. I've cleared the space and if you notice it's just so beautiful. It is such a beautiful collective of life. The main elements that an altar needs really are earth, air, water, fire of some sort. And any kind of interpretation of those elements, you know, what's symbolic of that. So also what's, what's important for you in those areas of earth, air, water, fire. The fifth sacred thing, which is spirit and energy. That's life expressing itself for me. I have relationships with various aspects of divinity and life itself is really my jam. One of the more abundant elements presenting itself right now is the element of earth. Something that I found are these beautiful, I don't know, pots, seed pots, something. You also want to be decorative as a way of honoring all the energies. So these are really gorgeous and I'm going to use these in some way. Is that your poop? Is it your poop? Is it your poop? Is it your poop? Here are my familiars having a conversation with each other. They love each other a lot and there's times when there's some tension. These dandelions are going to be used on the altar. I don't love to use flowers and pick them. I feel though that dandelions are so amazing and they're really plentiful. So I'm going to thank them for their lives and they're going to come with us and probably a few more. This is all I'm going to use plus some sticks to build this altar. So there it is. This wee altar. All I have to do is add a little water. I'm going to try to do this and film at the same time to the little acorn cup. Let's see if I can do it. Oop. A little bloop of water. It's kind of windy, so I'm not gonna light the candle, but it represents fire. This represents earth. This represents water. The dandelions represent air because 
their whole energy has expended. They're the wonderful poofs that go into the air. So there you are, um, a basic, beautiful altar. I'm gonna take a moment, give thanks. The elements will do what they want to do with this altar. The only thing that you have to be mindful of is taking the candle so that that isn't left out. But you can take a moment here. I could continue to build upon this altar. Um, if I wanted to, I could tend to it on a daily basis, or this could just be a one-time experience of honoring the elements in this beautiful land. This, by the way, it represents spirit. I think those flowers are so sweet, and I want to believe our spirits are sweet. And they are also, there's a little tiny rock there, which also our spirits are strong. To be able to take a moment in our lives and slow down and appreciate and honor the elements and honor life itself. I encourage you to make altars yourself. They're wonderful things to have as part of your life. <sighs> Little altars everywhere. So many of you are magical folk. You make altars all the time. I've enjoyed so many, many of your gorgeous offerings. This is just a wee example of how to build an altar. There are so many different ways. There are super magically charged ways, but I believe that life itself is magical in every moment. And it's about intention. And it's about slowing down to take time to show the world, to show life, to show the elements that you're present, that you're listening, that you're responsive. Yeah. We do this thing together. We do this thing together. <laughs>